play. This motherfucker's actually pretty good. And we were homies already, you know, so we started playing together and uh, came up with the name. Like, I had the name a long time ago just because I thought it was, like, a really funny name for, like, a fucking, like, crust punk band or something like yeah. that. Because it's fucking, the bottom, like, fuck punk. You know what that, you know that means. You know, you know what it is. And, like, I just think it's kind of ironic that it ended up being our, our name because we're, like, the farthest thing from fucking crust punk as far as, you know, Different genres of punk rock, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know, it's just like, it's kind of so comedic, you, I guess. Where, like did, where, was saying. You, where did you grow up at? Mm-hmm. White Side, man. But down uh, like south side of town, like over by M Bomb and shit. Like right uh, going into North Berrien, it's like uh, with the main drag to downtown West Center, 16th Avenue, turns into M Bomb. So, so not too far from here, it's the other side of the neighborhood. What kind of, what kind of experience do you have with a lot? Hey, thanks. Uh, Thanks, beer's good. Probably mm, until I was like 11, I didn't really realize what was going on around me, but then I started getting jumped and shit, and I realized that my neighborhood is not as nice as the rest of my friends in like West Seattle and shit. So um, that ended up being like a really defining factor in the horror's music is that we could all write about like our experiences growing up in a bad neighborhood like this is, you know, and. Uh, a lot of other Seattle bands aren't really like coming from the same roots as us, so we just wanted to like shed light on our situation in this part of Seattle, you know what I'm saying? Like right. through our lyrics. Now the Horwoods have played what? For the past, past eight years. No, no, like two and a half. Really? That's it? Yeah, Rhapsody Ruck has been playing for like eight years. That was no, the first punk rock band out of the White Center. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's the name you've seen. Mm-hmm. That's the oh, name yeah. I saw. You see him on this ticket right here with no effects. <laughs> there you go. Yep. They're fucking... Is that the King Cat? They're making a name for our neighborhood. Yeah. They're getting pretty big. So I, I got a lot of respect for those guys and I'm really happy for them. The White Center's starting to make a name for itself. Oh, yeah. It, it's made a name for itself as far as uh, fucking in Seattle and as far as neighborhood goes. You know, but uh, as far as music, I think... Um, you know, there's a lot that's just recently coming about. You know, there's a there's like some really good hip hop acts around here that are doing shit for the community. Well, who's trying who's to open up about hip hop? They're trying to open up all ages clubs. So I mean, once that comes <clears throat> around, get some punk rock in there. You know, yeah. get more kids out here that ain't got anything to do. Come out to the it's all the same. It's not angst. Get in trouble. Yeah. It's angst turned positive. It's all the <laughs> same. It's like it's an expression of person. Yeah, I don't know, that's like pretty much the biggest goal that I've always had for the Horwoods would be to like open up our own all ages music club around in White Center, you know, so kind of like a, the morgue down in Georgetown, where right. it's just like all ages all the time, all is five bucks, you know, because... Uh, See, there's a lot of bands that's wanting to get involved mm-hmm. with in all ages all day long. Like it. down here, I mean, I don't know, it's like... Grew up with a lot of kids that weren't getting into punk rock like I was, you know, and were getting into like stealing cars and gangbanging and shit like that, you know. But with the punk rock venue in the neighborhood, I feel like a lot of like younger kids that are really finding themselves and shit mm-hmm. could go there and like have a good time, you know what I'm saying? And, like hear good music and, you know, right. maybe yeah. drink some beers and smoke some weed, but not much worse than that, you know? Right. So what gravitated you to punk rock? Um, Why? In hindsight, punk rock? Probably, uh, probably my parents getting divorced when I was young had a lot to do with it, cause I had like a lot of um, like yeah. rage. That I didn't know like where it was coming from, you know, and like I had nothing to like put it towards, you know, like no outlet for it. But like I found that in punk rock music, cause you know there's like, you know, most first bands I was to was pissed off people singing it, you know what I'm saying? Right. So I just like immediately found the connection and. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know, man. It's just like punk rock can be whatever you want it to be, and I I just like that I can make the music how I like and just come up with some dark chord progressions and shit, like and even try and make it like sound like some punk rock I never even heard before, you know. And it can just be my music, and it doesn't have to be like compared with anything else, you know. It's just like its own thing. Like punk rock is malleable like that. That's what I like about it, you know. Who did you listen to growing up? Who are you, your influences? Um, shit, man. 
Most people would probably clown on me for this, but my favorite band is undoubtedly Rancid. <laughs> you can't clown on the Rancid. What is it 10 no, years I, later? It's no, Blink-182. No, 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 you get clowned yeah. on, you I know? Like Rancid. I, I was like, like fucking with him more. Too. I love Blink-182. <laughs> That's all. I, I grew up on that fucking, like, more like a, like, even before I got into Rancid, I was listening to that, like, bubblegum shit, you know, like, Green Day and Blink-182. Good music, but it's not, like, the kind of punk rock that I really grew to love and, like, wanted to make myself, you know? So, but that's, that's, like, what I came up on was some more, like, poppier bands, um, that were really kind of, like, more popular at the time, you know? Right. Like, getting some 41, Green Day, and all that shit. And then eventually I started to find, like, the good stuff, you know? What about bands like Avengers 74? Man, they can kiss my dick, dude. <laughs> I don't like that group. I do like uh, the dude's fucking guitar, that double cut Schecter. But uh, other than that, man, I don't know. It's just like I would, I would say that they have a very distinguishable uh, guitar tone, though. So give props to that. <laughs> Thank you.